Today I'm going to show you how to create trailers using iMovie for iOS. When you first open up iMovie, you'll be confronted with an option as to whether you want to create a movie or a trailer. Now, if you want to create a movie, I've already provided a tutorial on that topic and I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. Just for a basic understanding of the difference between the two, I'll explain that and then we'll move on to a hands-on demonstration on how to actually create the trailer. So the difference is, if you wanna create a movie, you can add a unlimited number of clips essentially and edit them in your own unique style. You can add music, you can add text overlay, and you can create unique transition effects between each of the clips. You can lengthen and shorten the clips depending on what you wanna do and also rearrange the order of them. And that's the basics of creating a movie in iMovie which I have described in my tutorial that I've left a link to below. So that's great for a unique type of movie. On the other hand, trailers are designed to kind of simulate a Hollywood looking trailer, which has a certain style of music behind it and a certain transition effect, etc. There are 14 different trailers available in iMovie for iOS. If you've got iMovie on the desktop, there's a few more choices. You have around 29 trailers to choose from. But still, the 14 that they have available on iOS really do represent a very broad range of different styles of trailers. And if you're looking to have that type of Hollywood style introduction to your movie, then certainly one of them is probably going to suit what you're looking for. Now, they are a little bit cheesy and comical in my opinion. So I don't know if you're going to get much mileage out of them if this is a professional production. But if you do edit it, with your own footage, you can come up with some pretty nice looking intro material. Now trailers go for about one to two minutes, so they are limited in terms of the amount of footage you can actually put in, and they have a predefined in and out uh, length. So you really do have a lot of restrictions and they're mostly designed, as I mentioned, just as a nice intro to a unique video that you might create in the video editing mode. Although having said that, you certainly can use them as standalone productions for a little bit of fun sharing amongst your family members, or even if you wanna share a dynamic video presentation that goes for a minute or two on Facebook, Instagram, etc. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and check out how to create a trailer on iMovie for iOS. So let's start with opening iMovie. Look for the iMovie icon on your screen, tap on it, and make sure that you're in the projects tab. If you're not, navigate to it with the top menu system. Once you're in the projects area, tap on the plus button and then you'll see an option to create either a movie or a trailer for this particular tutorial. We're going through the process of making a trailer. So tap on the trailer option. Once you get into the trailer's main interface, you'll see 14 different trailers to choose from. You can tap on any of these to see what they will look like. And if you wanna see the way they're actually animated, tap on the play button just below the preview window to get an appreciation of what it will look like. Of course, you're gonna replace it with your own video and typography. So I'm gonna choose the first trailer template, which is called Adrenaline. So in order to use that trailer, tap on the create option. Once we go into the create option, there is both the outline window and also the storyboard area. So we need to complete all of the information in both of these sections. The outline is where we can include the name of our movie, the studio name, which appears in the logo style at the very beginning of the trailer and the credits, which appears at the end of the trailer. So go in, and put your own unique text that applies to your particular production into those fields. So in order to edit the text, simply tap on a field, use the backspace button to get rid of the existing text and put your own text in. Once you're happy with your selection, press the done button at the bottom of the keyboard and complete all of those fields. Once all that's done, go into your storyboard area. This is where most of the magic happens. 
you get to replace the default footage with your own and also put your unique wording that appears in between the video clips. So in order to edit the text that appears in between the videos, tap on the text within the blue lines and go in and put your own wording. Now you can go in and replace all of the video clips of the trailer. In order to do so, simply tap on the thumbnail and navigate into your camera roll and select some movies. So you'll see a blue highlight around the first thumbnail, which means that the video footage we're about to tap on will be inserted into that first thumbnail. Now it will automatically go into a particular area of the timeline but you can go in and, and move that clip and see a preview of what will appear in that first clip. So I'm going to get to a point that I'm happy with, let go, and once you're happy with your selection, tap on the plus button. Then you'll notice the next thumbnail is highlighted. Select your second clip of video, tap the plus button. Third thumbnail is now highlighted. Tap on the next clip and keep going until you have completed adding all of your videos into the thumbnails. Now, incidentally, you can also add photos rather than video or as well as videos. In order to do so, tap on the photos menu item at the top that will take you to your photos folders within your camera roll. And you can go in and select photos that will now appear in amongst your video clips. So in order to save time, I'm not going to complete all of these. I'm just going to go back and preview what we've done. So as you can see, I've got my first two rows filled in, which has my unique text, my unique video clips and photos. And if you want to check your progress as you're going, tap on the play button on the left hand side. And there you go, you can just check as you're going along and make sure you complete all of those scenes and all of the text replacements and then you're pretty good to go. Now, if you've had a look at the footage and you're not quite happy with the in and out points, you can go back in and tap on any of the thumbnails and you'll get into the editing screen that allows you to change where the clip starts and where it ends. You can also change the speed of the video clip and also toggle the sound on and off. So once you're happy with your movie, select done. And then you'll be taken back to the projects window. Then tap on the share icon, which is the middle icon in the bottom interface in between the trash and play buttons. Tap on share and then you can save it down as a video, which is then ready to be shared via social media email or any other means. It'll turn it into a H.264 movie clip, which can be used on many different platforms. So go ahead and save your video. And when you select save, you get the option to save it as a 360p, 540, 720 or 1080p video. And you also get the option to save down in 4K. So select the option that suits you and it will now begin exporting that movie. Now, if you wanna go ahead and use that trailer in one of your existing movies, or if you wanna create a new movie in iMovie, tap on the movie section within the projects window and add your trailer that you just created as your first clip on the timeline. There you see the trailer is the first clip, followed by 
the footage that I'm going to use in my actual movie. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget that if you are looking at more information about how to edit using iMovie on iOS, I have created a comprehensive video on that topic and I've left a link to it in the description box below. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to hit me up with a like and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell next to subscribe so you'll be notified of up and coming videos just like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.